Colorado Senator John Hickenlooper also in Southern Colorado today, hoping the Front Range Rail project between Pueblo and Cheyenne, Wyoming stays on track. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live in Pueblo where the freshman senator paid a visit. Scott. Yeah, that's right, Lauren. Hickenlooper met with Pueblo's mayor and Pueblo County commissioners on a tour of the Union Depot building that you see behind me. It would serve as the base for the proposed high-speed passenger rail project. Let's show you some video of that tour as it happened around 10 o'clock this morning. Now, the senator says the time is right for the project to happen because $80 billion of federal funding is available for Amtrak projects. The front rail line has an estimated cost of $8 to $10 billion. Pueblo could contribute up to $7 million if needed, but such a project will also require a rare level of local, state, and federal cooperation. And, Hick and Hickenlooper says that's where he can help. And I think that's one of the... the few things that I have in the U.S. Senate that maybe others or not very many others have, which is that experience as a mayor and local government, municipal government, and then also as the governor for eight years. So I've seen how s the state has to work as a partner with local cities and counties. Uh, and you've got to have that unity. But also, the federal government's got to be a partner. Hickenlooper says he'll go back to Washington to convince President Joe Biden of the need for federal funding to help pay for this project. The senator also says that the project will spur growth and development, not just here in Pueblo, but also to the south of Pueblo, as well as, of course, reduce traffic congestion and pollution on already congested I-25. We are live in downtown Pueblo. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.